a once daily weight loss pill from Eli Lilly just delivered results that rival Ozempic, and it doesn't require a single injection. It's called Orforglipron, and this might be the moment so many of us have been waiting for. This morning, Lilly released the results of its Phase 3 trial for a once-daily oral GLP-1, and the data shows this pill might actually live up to the hype. If it gets approval, Orforglipron could become the first oral GLP-1 treatment for obesity with results comparable to injectables like Wagovi and Ozempic. That would be a massive leap forward for access for convenience and for people like us using GLP-1s to treat the disease of obesity. Before we get into the full story, just a quick reminder. I'm Lorraine Durham, and together with Christopher, we've lost over 150 pounds using Zepbound, Manjaro, and Trizepatide. We're not doctors. Nothing here is medical advice. Always talk to your healthcare provider before starting or stopping any medication. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. We're so glad you're here. We break down the latest GLP-1 news, personal stories, and updates every week. So make sure to like and subscribe to The Downsize to stay informed. Lily's Phase 3 trial, called Achieve 1, followed 559 adults with type 2 diabetes. These participants weren't on any other diabetes medications just diet and exercise. They were randomly assigned one of three doses of orforglipron or a placebo and took it daily for 40 weeks. And the results were strong. People on the highest dose lost an average of 16 pounds. That's about 8% of their body weight. The middle dose group lost 12 pounds. The lowest dose lost about 10 pounds and those on placebo lost under three. But it wasn't just weight loss. Their A1C levels improved significantly, dropping up to 1.6%. Over 65% of people on the highest dose got their A1C down to 6.5% or lower, a key marker for diabetes control. And as we've seen throughout research, this was all done on diabetics. At this point, typically diabetics have a harder time losing weight on these drugs. So the presumption would be fighting obesity, it should perform a little bit better. What sets Orforglipron apart from the other oral GLP-1 from Nova Nordisk, which is Rebelsis, is how it's taken. Rebelsis has to be taken on an empty stomach first thing in the morning with a full glass of water and then no food or drink at all for at least 30 minutes. With Orforglipron, you can take it anytime, with food, without food, it doesn't matter. And that's a huge benefit for real world use. And here's another piece of the puzzle. Back in 2023, Novo Nordisk announced that its higher dose versions of Rebelsis, the 25 milligram and the 50 milligram, had outperformed the current 14 milligram dose in a late stage trial. The results looked promising for both blood sugar control and weight loss. But those higher doses still haven't reached the market. Approval is still pending and Novo has said any broader launch will depend on manufacturing capacity and portfolio priorities. So even with that phase three win, patients are still waiting. And that gives Lily a real window. Or Orforglipron isn't just easier to take. It's not a peptide like semaglutide or rebelsis. It's a small molecule. That means it's more shelf stable, easier to manufacture, and could potentially be cheaper to distribute. That's why it's getting so much attention, not just from doctors, but from investors too. Just two days before the public announcement, Lilly's top executives gathered in Indianapolis to look at the final data. Time Magazine's Alice Park was there, and according to her, the tension was high because just days earlier, Pfizer had scrapped its own oral GLP-1 due to liver toxicity. So everyone in that room knew what was at stake. Lilly CEO David Ricks said he's been through dozens of these data reviews, but this one felt different. The moment of relief came when a slide appeared showing no liver toxicity and a manageable side effect profile. That's when he said, okay, we have a drug. So let's talk side effects. Diarrhea showed up in 26% of participants. Indigestion was about 20% and nausea was about 18%. Vomiting and constipation had lower rates, but fewer than 10% of people stopped the drug due to side effects. And again, no liver issues. That's what uh, made this such a big moment after Pfizer's drug failed. Wall Street also noticed Lilly's stock shot up 15% in the first hour of trading on Thursday, jumping from $734.90 to $844.69. Nova Nordisk's stock dropped correspondingly more than 7% on the same news. Analysts from Citi said Lilly's results exceeded expectations and 
described the clean safety profile as a sigh of relief. So what does this mean in the bigger picture? Lily may now have the lead in the race for oral GLP-1s, but it's far from over. Roche is still in, smaller companies like Structure Therapeutics, Terms Pharmaceuticals and Viking are also pushing forward with oral weight loss pills. And Nova Nordisk isn't backing down. One of their most promising drugs in development is called Emicritin. It targets both GLP-1 and another hormone called amylin. Early data showed participants lost 13% of their body weight in just 12 weeks. That's powerful. And they've been busy expanding their obesity pipeline. Just last month, Novo signed a deal worth up to $1 billion with Lexicon Pharmaceuticals for global rights to LX9851, a new oral drug targeting fat metabolism and energy balance. In early studies, combining LX9851 with semaglutide helped reduce weight and prevent weight regain, making it a possible companion to Ozempic or Wagovi. And let's not forget in 2023, Novo spent another $1.1 billion to acquire Inversago Pharma, bringing in a cabinoid receptor blocker called Monlunapant. Everyone's chasing the next breakthrough, and they know oral GLP-1s are the future. So let's bring it back to what this means for you. If you're using GLP-1s to fight the disease of obesity or thinking about it, this is a really big deal. Injectables like Zepbound and Wagovi are effective, but they're expensive, hard to find, and can be tough to stick with long-term. A once daily pill that works just as well, that could be a game changer for real people. No needles, no timing rules, no complex storage or supply chain issues, just one pill anytime. That kind of simplicity could open the door to far more patients. And maybe even more importantly than starting weight loss is maintaining it. Doctors believe oral GLP-1s could be the perfect long-term solution. A kind of off-ramp from injectables, something you take daily to help keep the weight off and stay healthy. Lilly is already testing this idea. They've launched a trial using orforglopron for weight maintenance and people who participated in earlier trials with ZepBound. That trial is expected to wrap up in early 2026. If that trial is successful, we could be looking at a future where patients don't need to stay on expensive injectable medications forever. A daily pill could take their place, and that could bring lower costs, greater access, and a lot more flexibility. But this isn't just about weight loss. It's about reshaping how we treat the disease of obesity and how we think about health care, food, and wellness for the next generation. We'll be watching it closely, and we'll keep bringing you all the latest news as it unfolds. So as we always do, we like to chat about the news a little bit after we give you the insights. So what do you think? Everybody wants the pill, right? I mean, a lot of companies out there would love to have this uh, available. You know, I think it's interesting because as we've reported on these oral GLP ones over the last year, a number of people will say, no, I want to keep my needle. I don't want to do that. Mm-hmm. It will become an interesting conversation when we see, number one, what this costs. What it costs. I mean, can I use it for maintenance? Right. So if you can all of a sudden get this for dollars a pill pill versus $1,000 a month, month, well, the cost value equation all of a sudden changes and Mm -hmm. maybe you don't like your needle that much. I mean, I'd much rather have a pill that doesn't have to be refrigerated you don't have to take it on an empty stomach like but the i mean the side effects the diarrhea and the nausea and all that seem like those are comparable with everything i mean else. they'd be comparable it didn't stop anyone from mm-hmm. the study right so they're all manageable side effects just like we have now with the yeah so although and we'll go the, you know to what to read a facebook group you think everybody in the world gets constipation mm-hmm. between 20 and 30 percent of the people do the same numbers that we saw here yeah so it's not i, I think the other thing that's interesting is the extended distribution and potentially the lower cost could open this up to become a preventive medication. So maybe you never have to get to 100 pounds overweight or 200 pounds overweight. Wouldn't that be nice? And what would the marker be, I guess, to start it? I don't know. I don't know. The future of healthcare and Mm -hmm. medicine is crazy right now. So we look forward to seeing it. That's our update on Orforglopron. Super promising numbers from Eli Lilly. Great to see more new drugs coming to market. If you'd like to learn more about this or stay updated on what we're doing, please like and subscribe to The Downsize so you do not miss an update. My name's Christopher Durham. I'm Lorraine Durham. And we are The Downsized. We'll see you next time.